It's over, Zahir. Let go your earthly tether. Release the Avatar. Enter the void. This is your last warning. Empty and become wind. No! Stop! Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, and today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 11 of Legends of Tomorrow, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So Legends of Tomorrow is taking over the Supergirl time slot for the second week in a row, so hopefully you're enjoying these Legends videos because these episodes are so great and I really enjoyed this episode. So most of the episode was like a Groundhog's Day episode and obviously Ray made some references to Star Trek and they've done it in lots of other TV shows like I can give an example. They did it on The Librarians. I really like that. So I'm a fan of this time loop kind of theory. It was revealed that Gideon actually put Zari into her own programming so she did that on purpose basically. So we got to explore her and she got to know the character characters a bit better and that was really cool and before this episode I really liked Zari and now I love her even more. Tala Ash actually did a fabulous job in this episode and it was so good seeing her actually taking the spotlight over like everyone else and it was really awesome seeing her with Nate. I thought that was a really good dynamic. We haven't seen too much of that and I really enjoyed that. I love Nate so it was great seeing them together and one of my favorite parts of the episodes was actually the fun montage that they did where she's doing a bunch of stuff because she knows she's going to die in an hour. So they're eating whipped cream, she's in Citizen Steel's armor, she's wearing the Hawk Girl mask, that's a nice callback to season one, and she's wearing Mick's old costume from The Flash with the goggles. So that was just some really nice callbacks, there's a few more of those, but those were the coolest ones. And so, in the episode we got to see that she can actually fly with her wind totem, they're actually calling it wind totem, I don't think they're calling it air. And that scene really reminded me of Zahir in The Legend of Korra where he actually enters the void, he empties, he becomes wind, and then he's able to fly because remember after harmonic convergence he gets the power of airbending and then he actually throughout the season develops the power he tries to train towards it and he can fly so that's just what Zari when she was actually flying when she used the wind around her reminded me of so I'm really enjoying all of these avatar easter eggs that they're dropping and next episode we're going to be finding the earth totem and hopefully they do some earth bending stuff that would be awesome so we get to explore some of the different characters and obviously we find out that Rory is making a book and there's some really funny scenes Nate dies a whole load of times in order to try and find his typewriter and and obviously he's very embarrassed about that because he's supposed to be Rory, the guy who you would never think would write a romance sci-fi book, like no one would think that. So near the ending of the episode we get to see a shot and I think it's in China and we see Rip Hunter and after last episode we knew that we would be seeing Rip Hunter because he escaped from the Time Bureau prison because of his actions against the Time Bureau and his obsession with Malice. So he actually meets Wally West, who we see for the first time. And this is awesome. I love this scene. It's just so subtle. Such a nice way to actually fade into this from Zari's scenes. And so we're going to be getting a lot of Wally West and Kid Flash. So I'm very excited to see what he actually brings to it and how he's going to help to bring down Malice. So I'm very excited. And by the way, guys, Constantine is going to be returning in the finale episode. He might return prior to that, we're not sure, but definitely in the finale episode. So, Legends is crazy right now, it's just going to get better and better, so I'm very excited. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut free teams. I could only breathe.